never done any public speaking before, and it's not as bad as I thought it would be, it's actually a hundred times worse, so <laughs> um, I'll just try to relax myself a bit. Um, well, my company is called Young Entrepreneur Society, and I had the idea last June when I left college. Um, when I left college, I became a NEAT, that isn't a disease, it means a young person that isn't in employment, education or training. Um, I always knew that I wanted to start my own business, but the question was, what do I do? So, I tried to look for resources to help me. I looked on the internet, I got books, I thought, there's just too much information out there. How do I know what to take in and what not to take in, what to read, how do I throw out the jargon? And I thought, hang on a minute, if I'm having this problem, then other young people must be having this problem as well. So I thought, well, why don't we come up with a solution? So then we came up with a name for the company, Young Entrepreneur <coughs> Society, and um, the 12 Steps to Success um, was born, which is our first product. And we've put this together, in my opinion, from my point of view as a young person, what a young person would need to know to start their own business. So the best place to start with that, I thought, was to ask other successful people how they did it. Because, you know, what did I know, really, to be honest? So I started to contact some of the top entrepreneurs in the country, people like um, Richard Harpin, who started HomeSurf, um, Levi Roots, the founder of Re Reggae Reggae Source, um, Julie Meyer, one of the dragons on Dragon Stem Online, people like that, who gave up an hour of their time and let me interview them and ask them questions from a young person's point of view about how they did it. So now what I want to do is to pass that information on to other young people. Um, so what we've done with these interviews is we've integrated them into a program called the 12 Steps to Success, and it's on different entrepreneurial and personal development subjects, such as what an entrepreneur is, because some young people might not even know, the qualities that you need to be an entrepreneur, how the mind works, so talking about the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, your purpose in life, so that's a lot of career planning, and finding out why you're put on this earth and finding out your hobbies and your skills and how you can make money from doing that because lots of young people think that you have to be in a dead-end job because they see their parents come home and moan. Well, I think it's my job to let them know that that is not the case and that you can do something that you love and make money from it. We do a lot of goal-setting, confidence-building, learning how to reject rejection um, I've had quite a lot of rejection and it can be taken personally so I think that it's really important you know, not to take it personally and understand that it is just a state of mind. And we also go into developing a business idea so we've got a guide, jargon free, how to write a business plan and especially for young people, keep it down to the minimum, the, the, the titles that you need in the business plan and um, explaining how to write it. And um, we also talk about how to make your ideas happen because, you know, it's all well and good having all these amazing ideas, but if you're not actually going to act on it, then they're not, they're not going to um, come true. So I'd just like to talk about um, three highlights of the business so far. And um, we've partnered up with a company called A3. They're a huge company, Action for Employment. They've got 3,000 employees. They're the biggest training provider for the job centre. Um, they have included us in a bid up north with Barnsley Council, a NEAT bid, so not in employment, education and training. And um, what we'll be doing is we'll be going up there um, four times in a year. Over five days we'll be delivering the 12 Steps programme to um, this group of NEATs. So um, we've also partnered up with them to um, get some NEATs through the job centre as well. So we want to um, train up um, some young people that really do have motivation and who really do want to start a business. And um, we're looking to roll this out with all the local authorities and councils as well. And we don't just want to do this in Barnsley, we want this to be um, all over the UK. And um, we've also been accepted into schools in Buckingham here. <coughs> and um, we're an approved provider for enterprise learning through specialist schools and academies trust who have 5,600 schools on their database. Bearing in mind that we only launched the company in February, um, I'm quite astounded myself and surprised about all the positive feedback that we have had so far and the interest and the demand for what we're doing. And um, also the interest that we've had from Business Link. Um, we recently had a meeting with somebody um, from Business Link and um, they are really interested in 
our product because at the moment Business Link don't actually niche anything down to young people, it's just for everybody and I went on a Business Link course and I found it really helpful but there wasn't anybody my age and I think that there's probably a gap there to do something for young people to, you know, they feel a bit scared that they, they can't go because everyone's older and you know, they feel a bit intimidated. So I think if there's young people running these workshops for Business Link that we can encourage um, young people, you know, to come out of themselves and um, to think about starting a business and be encouraged to do that. And um, we want to work with Business Link nationally and we've got a meeting with the Director of Operations for South East um, in the next few weeks to discuss this. But all of this wouldn't have been possible without Frederick's Foundation. And I'd just really like to thank Paul Barry Walsh and his team, especially Tim at the back there, and um, I have most of my dealings with him. The support and everything, not just the money that they gave me to help me, just the encouragement and the fact that they believed in me. Because a lot of the time you get people, you know, a lot of the time it could be jealousy, you know, that people don't want you to succeed in life or something. But these people, they're just so passionate about helping other people. And in a way, our business is kind of crossed because my business is helping young people start a business and Frederick's, you know, they help everybody start a business. So I see in the future, you know, that our, our paths might um, cross there. And um, going to panel was quite scary, but it wasn't like Dragon's Den and... Paul Barry Walsh didn't tell me I was ridiculous and to get out. <laughs> so um, I'd just like to thank them for all their support they've given me and um, it wouldn't have been possible to be where I am today without them. So um, I'd just like to finish off um, with um, some really powerful words by Rhonda Byrne. She's a lady who wrote um, a book called The Secret. And if you haven't read The Secret, then I would highly recommend this book because it is one of the most life-changing books that you could ever read. So I'd just like to finish off with this. You have a choice right now. Do you want to believe that it's just the luck of the draw and that bad things can happen to you at any time? Do you want to believe that you can be in the wrong place at the wrong time? That you have no control over your circumstances? Or do you want to believe and know that your life experience is in your hands and that only all good can come into your life because that is the way you think? You have a choice and whatever you choose to think will become your life experience. Your life is in your hands. No matter where you are now, no matter what has happened in your life, you can begin to consciously choose your thoughts and you can change your life. And this is what I want to pass on to other young people. Thank you.